In this video, I am going to show you how you can build a Gen AI application by using Mixtrawl 8 into 7 billion model on Ubuntu Linux by using Olama and Llama Index. We will be running this Mixtrawl 8 into 7 billion model locally on Linux and then we will be querying it. We will also create uh, a vector database or and then we'll create an index and then we will talk with it. I have previously done few vid uh, videos on how to install it and how to run it and I'll drop the link in video description too. If you're not aware of what Mixtrawl is, Mixtrawl in very simple words is a brand new open source large language model built by Mistral AI which is a French company. This Mixtrawl 8 into 7 billion is a mixture of expert or in other words it's a mixture or blend of 8 small models of 7 billion parameter sizes. And each model within this mixture is expert in its own domain. Okay, now theory out of the way, let's start um, to see how exactly we can use this Mixtrawl with this Olama and Llama index, which is a framework to create your Gen AI applications. Okay, let me go to my local system to see, to show you how to run it. And now let me simply run this sorry let me go to the other one okay this is my window where i'm going to run the mixtrawl so once you run olama run mixtrawl then it will download the mixtrawl and then it will give you the prompt so i already have downloaded it in my previous video so you can see that it is running now and you can do inference with it but instead of doing inference here what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the inference for my code so let me first go you to show you the code so this is a code all i'm doing in this code this is a code sorry now it is being displayed so in this code i'm importing this olama then i'm just specifying my model with uh, olama which is mixtrawl and then from this i'm just asking it that a prompt so if i run it like this it is going to display some sort of a response from the model so let's wait for it to come back and this is just to show you that it is working properly. So you can see that it has properly given us the response, which is awesome. Now also make sure that you have all of these Llama index, quadrant, client and torch transformers installed on your local system. Cool. And the specs of my servers are G4D and 4X large EC2 instance on AWS cloud. And it has 62 gig of my memory because in order to run Mixtrawl, the full blown one, I'm not using any quantized version. You need to have more than 48 gig of memory with one GPU. Okay, I have cleared my screen and now we have established that our model is running and it works for the simple inference. Now we are going to load a data set from Hugging Face and then we are going to talk with it. And let me quickly show you the data set which I'm going to use. This is a data set which is present on Hugging Face. I have just downloaded one file on my local system from this page. So if I go here and show you my hugging uh, my data, I already created a data folder and just by using wget, I copied the link, uh, link from that Hugging Face page and downloaded this data. Cool. So let me go one step back and this is where I'm going to create my new application so i'm just going to call it my app.py let's make it executable my app.py and my app.py let me insert the code here and before i run it let me quickly walk you through that what exactly this code does so what this code is doing is let's go at the top first importing some of the libraries then quadrant client which is a client for the vector database quadrant and then we are simply importing some of the libraries from lava index out till here then we are loading json loader to load our file which we have just downloaded from hugging face this is our data set and then from here we are just uh, initializing our vector data store until this creating a storage context then specifying our mixtrawl model with olama and giving it the local context and here we are creating an index on top of our data and from here we are passing it to query engine and in the query engine the prompt which i am passing it it is that what is the general idea of this text 
give details in one paragraph of five lines so let me save it and run it so this is the vi editor and now let's run it python my app dot py let's be run it there you go as you can see that it first loaded the data set when i ran that script and then it did some uh, vectorization on it stored it in the vector database generated the special tokens and then returned us the result now that is great now let's uh, try out one another prompt in the same file so let's go to our file then so you can see that this is our file and here we were asking about the general idea because this data set consists of tweets and this is uh, inspired by one of the blog posts um, on the llama index site and i will also drop the link to it in video's description so let's ask it a few more questions around it let me first remove this one i'll just say what is the top tweet in this data set and why this is pretty generic question let's see if it is able to detect it let me save it and now let's run it again so this program is running the good thing is that now it is not going to vectorize the whole data set again because it has already done so so first time when you run it it takes a bit of a time but not on the subsequent um, attempts so let's wait for it to come back while it runs let me also give you the blog post which i was referring to so this is the one which i have used as a reference for this that is for the data set and other stuff okay let's go back and see where it is okay it is still running now <clears throat> one another thing is that you can also use this data set or any other file but it has to be in the proper format now if you are using your own data make sure that your data is in this format before uh, you pass it through but once your data is in this format rest is all good and you can simply curate um, you can simply do whatever you want with your own custom data okay let me take you to that data set this is a data set which i was talking about okay let's wait for the upper one to come back and there is the response and you can see it is spot on and it says that based on the provide context there is only one to the database and all that so and only to it okay that is good now uh, this is how you can use your own custom data set with mixtrol and even with mistrol model with olama and llama index and uh, let me clear it so this is a code which i have used and i will also put it in uh, the link to it which you can also use so enjoy and if you have any questions or if you get stuck let me know i'll be very happy to help out and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much